Hello everybody, this is Steven again, and in this video I just wanted to show a couple tips and techniques to use the different displays or the different viewports in Maya. So this is the main viewport, and I've chosen the quad layout, the panel layout that's a quad. So you've got the perspective, a top view, a front view, and a side view by default. The first thing to point out is you can use the space bar to switch between views. So if I just press and release the space bar with the mouse hovering over each view, I can switch to that view very quickly and very easily. I can also switch to the perspective view here, but the space bar will allow me to switch that view. And then clicking on this will bring up that quad display. So a couple things to point out is first of all, these are the defaults, top, front, side, but you can go to panels and go to orthographic and here are those views but you can also go to different views. You can go to new views and create to view the back, the right, the top, the bottom. You know, you've got all these views here. So these are just the normal ones are just the standard ones and you can add more. And these are just cameras in Maya that are set to orthographic. You've got a perspective and you can create more cameras, but this is the default perspective camera that you can't change the name of and you traditionally don't want to use for your animation. It's just to view your scene or view your model. So if you're animating, usually if you want to render shots out, you create a different camera and do that. But in this instance, I just want to kind of show you how to kind of quickly work with some of these views. So I could create new ones like I mentioned, but a question that seems to pop up quite often is you've got different ways to view this. So if I hold down the Alt or Option key and I just click and drag, I'm tumbling. I'm using the tumble tool to view my model, right? But if you do that in the orthographic views, it says they're currently locked. And I'll get to how to unlock them here pretty quick. But I wanted to go through the steps of showing you all these different you know, viewport tools. So that's the tumble. If I middle mouse and drag, it's called the track tool. So if I just move it up and down, left and right, it's tracking. Holding down the option key and right clicking is dulling. This is not zooming, so it's a little bit different. A lot of people get in the habit of calling this a zoom, like I'm zooming into the character, but it's actually dollying in. And to show that, if I go to this view menu, so each one of the viewports have these menus, and have the icons. They're all identical, but they work with that particular camera. So if I go to the view menu and I go to camera tools and I can see that there's a tumble tool, track tool, dolly tool. That is when I hold down alt or option and choose the different mouse clicks, I can switch between those tools. You'll notice here is the zoom tool. And if I choose the zoom tool, if I click and I drag, you can see that my perspective is kind of changing. So you can see that the lens of the camera is actually moving in and out. It's not the camera itself. So if I hold down option and I right click, what I'm doing is I'm dulling into that character, right? And physically moving that camera. Using the zoom tool, if I do that, you can see that the character gets closer, but you see an optical effect. That's because the lens of the camera is actually changing. The lens of the camera is moving. The camera isn't physically moving closer to the character. But again, this is physically moving the camera closer to the character. So just to kind of explain the differences between those two. The other interesting thing is, as I was mentioning, I can't hold down the option key and drag, you know, just mouse over and left drag because it says they're currently locked. Now, if I go to view and I go to camera tools and I go up to the tumble tool and the option box, when I choose that, you'll see the tool settings for that particular tool for whatever is active. Right now, I've got the tumble tool active, and you see that it says orthographic views are locked. So if I unlock that and I keep it at stepped, you'll see that I can rotate that character, but it's still an orthographic view. You'll notice that as soon as it gets to that 90 degree plane, like it's looking right from the side of that character, the grid is hidden. So and it's doing the stepped because I have stepped turned on. So I can easily get it back to 90 degrees. Now I can go over to the channel box and reset that. So if I select that camera, I can see that the rotate Y is 90 degrees because I'm looking at the side of that character. But again, with the tumble tool on and it unlocked any of these views that I use the tumble tool for, 
will do the same thing. So I can actually manipulate that front view to get like a three quarter. Now that could be useful when you're modeling a character and you wanna see a three quarter view, but typically the front view is locked to that 90 degree angle from the front, right? So if I choose that camera, you can see that this doesn't have any rotation. So the camera's standard view is front, right? When it's at the top, if I select that camera, you could see it's negative 90 on the X, right? So that's where that camera is positioned on that 90 degree on the X, so it's rotated. But with these locked, I can't affect it and it tells you that they're locked. So if you ever get to the point where you're moving it and you don't understand why it's moving in an orthographic view, if you reset those to their defaults, right? Any one of these views, you just kind of go back and set that to say this camera is set to 90 on the rotate Y, the front view is all zero, zero, zero for the rotates, and the top view is negative 90 on the X. Right? So that's how those settings are. Once they're there, you can go ahead and lock it again and close that, and now these are gonna be locked. So if you ever come up with that, and you don't know why they're moving or they're rotating, even though they're orthographic views, that's how you can get it back. Now you can't do that with the perspective view, it's just for orthographic views because of perspective view, you wanna be able to see it from all angles. I hope that helps and good luck with uh, working on your projects.